Hey there, welcome to Oman Runner. In today's video, I'm gonna do this, the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent. First, I'm gonna run around Dublin in them, then I'm gonna put them on the turntable list of specifications, then I'm gonna review them, and finally, I'm gonna see if I can recommend them. I've been running in and reviewing carbon fiber shoes for over a year now, and uh, been working my way up to these. They have an extreme reputation. Elliot Kipchoge ran less than two hours of the marathon in them, and they also have an extreme price. But if you're going to compare carbon fiber shoes, you need to at least try these. And the question is, are they worth it? The shoes have a reputation for being tricky on the twisty bits. So I wanted to find a long straight run. So I took them to the wooden bridge and bull wall on the north side of Dublin. Let's go for a run and see the shoe in action. I hope you enjoyed the run on the bull wall. I certainly did. Uh, let's put the uh, shoe on the turntable and look at its specifications. Nike say that shoe weighs 210 grams or 7.4 ounces in a men's size 8.5. This shoe is a USM 13, USW 14.5, EU 47.5, UK 12, BR 46, CM 31 men and CM 31.5 women's. The shoe measures 300 millimeters long internally. In this size, it weighs in the left shoe 271 grams or 9.55 ounces, and in the right shoe 280 grams or 9.85 ounces. It has a 39 millimeter stack height and a four millimeter drop. Nike say this about the Alpha Fly, a racing shoe for the future of fast. Best for long distance races, two Zoom AirPods, Zoom X foam, and a carbon fiber plate provide a cushioning platform that makes it our fastest racing shoe. But on the same webpage, the same webpage, not a different one, it also says about the Vaporfly, it's the fastest shoe we've ever made. Well, let's review the shoe and see if what Nike says is true, at least for the Alpha Fly. Nike developed the upper atom knit because they wanted to reduce the overall weight of the shoe. There's a huge amount going down in the sole and they wanted to reduce the uh, weight of the upper. So they introduced this atom knit and if I stick the uh, light into the shoe, uh, you'll see it's incredibly translucent. 
Uh, there's almost nothing to it. It reminds me of fishing nets we used to use when we were kids. Um, it's that sort of, uh, lots of little holes between it and that allow water in and out and it's actually very breathable. I went out, yesterday it was a very hot day and it's certainly a very breathable shoe. Um, the upper is a single, it's a booty, so, uh, which I've always liked. It's very stretchy right where you put it on. Um, the rest is probably making it a bit di slightly different than the Adam Weed. Uh, the laces are ridged, which helps them lock together, which is, which is great. Um, there's not a lot of structure. I mean, there's, there's sort of very thin edges. There's a very nice heel protector for your Achilles, which is actually quite thick. Um, the liner is fixed. It looks to be about two mil or thereabouts. I can wiggle my toes and it's fine in terms of width. So the upper, um, it takes a little while to get on, um, but, but, but it's, you're gonna be running a long distance uh, and you can lock yourself down with these laces pretty easily. So yeah, it's a nice upper. As with any carbon fiber shoe, the, the complexity is in the base. Um, you can see the carbon plate here, there's Zoom X here. It's a little bit of um, rubber outsole here on the front, black. Um, you can actually stick your finger through here uh, at the back of the a sort of slot here. You'll see it from behind in the running video. Um, not a massive amount of traction. I, I wouldn't run in these in the wet. Um, and uh, a little bit of, of inlay into the foam here for probably for, for more wear. But again, you do see, and you can actually feel the carbon fiber plate in the back. Um, a little bit of spray color onto the, onto the side of the foam, probably to try and disguise just how much of it there is, and obviously the exposed zoom pods. Um, in some ways, uh, although it doesn't have brilliant uh, traction, you could say it's got the biggest lug of any shoe I've got, because it would hook onto something. But uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the sole of this shoe. The shoe is only available in one size, and um, uh, there is a lot of wiggle room for me in the toe. Um, I mean, I think it fits for me, it fits true. It's 200, this shoe is 271 grams or 9.55 ounces. Um, that's significantly heavier than my Asics, which is 235 grams or 8.45 ounces. We'll talk a little bit more about that shoe a bit later on. Um, but this is not uh, the lightest of the carbon fiber shoes. I like the design of this shoe. There's a lot going on, but it's relatively simple and definitely form follows function. Uh, you can definitely you can see the zoom pods at the front. Uh, you can see the carbon fiber plate. The materials aren't hidden in any particular way. I think the vapor fly is very different. I think it's all, all foamed in to use a phrase. Um, when you put on this shoe, it's obvious uh, you're stepping into Elliot Kipchoge's shoe. I mean, the question is, can you fill them? Uh, but they aren't discreet. Um, in this mango color, they really do pop. It's also available in a turquoise. And then you can go the full hog and get them in Elliot's uh, color, a sort of white and uh, lovely Kenyan colors of, of green and, and red. Um, it's an unmistakable shoe. Nobody is going to think you're in a different model. I guess in the Vaporfly, you could possibly be mistaken for any sort of uh, Nike model. Uh, uh, not in this thing. It's obvious what you're going out in. So what they feel like to run in? Well, in, in a word, weird. Uh, when you put them on and, you, and you first, the first thing you notice, I mean, above all else when you grab is the noise. There's a kind of squelchy sound. You, you, you don't hear too much in the video because um, there's music playing. So, but, it, but there's a definite squelch, 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 squelch each time you take a step forward. And that is the first thing. And then they do feel weird. They're nice and soft. After a while, actually, they, you just, most times when I go running the, uh, making the running track videos, uh, I'm not thinking about the shoe at all. You're just trying to think what shots you're going to get. But in these ones, um, definitely I started off nervously in them, but then pretty quickly they, they, uh, they eased in to where they became, uh, they felt very natural. They do feel like they want to propel you forward. Um, I ran a lot last week, for me anyway. Well, I ran 75K last week, and uh, that's a lot for me. And um, I decided, uh, I, so I ran a half marathon these yesterday morning, having done the film, the video, and um, the running part of the video. And uh, they're, they're really nice, really comfortable, a uh, nice shoe to run along in. Um, what I was worried about, and which is a little bit, is, is when I got tired, and I deliberately ran it, it to get tired, um, it, because there's such a high forefoot, it's easy to snag. It happened maybe two or three times. Uh, and I was running up and down on pavements, but on a flat surface, that shouldn't be a problem when you're concentrating on going the distance. Uh, but it is something to be aware of. I, I don't think there's great grip or traction, um, apart from the giant lug here. Um, but, but they were fine. Uh, and of course, you're gonna be using them for racing. So you're, uh, well, I mean, maybe you're not. Uh, they're actually quite, you could walk around the house in these. Um, but I would be, uh, 
nervous of uh, the twisty bits. Uh, I'm running an upcoming marathon that I'm wondering about this shoe or the ASIC shoe, uh, and I'll have to do some testing to figure it out. Um, but it's on an old railway uh, line, so I'm guessing it doesn't have any 90 degree bends, and this might be ideal. There's lots of interesting um, cost issues in the shoe. So superficially, it's the most expensive uh, carbon fiber shoe I can find at 299 euro and 99 cents. Again, Nike, just call it 300 and um, make life easy for everybody. Um, anyway, it sneaks in, smidgen under 300 euro. Uh, any other shoe I've got, 250 is the most, uh, 250 euro is the most I've paid for it. Uh, in the US, it's 275 dollars. Now, Nike, usually it's pre even between dollars and euro. I think they're feeling a bit of pressure on the price and they've dropped it in the United States. In the UK, it's 259 pounds and 95 pence. Um, now, you do get a free bag in that. Uh, <laughs> Not that I want it. And if you were to uh, buy the Elliot Kipchoge colorway, it's another 10 euro. And it's got its own special bag in, in green and, and red and white. Um, the Vaporfly, interesting enough, because I had considered the Vaporfly and the Vaporfly 2. The Vaporfly is, is maybe it's about $275 or again, and, and the Vaporfly anyway is cheaper. It's maybe 275 euro and against 250 euro. But the Vaporfly 2 is cheaper, which seemed it seems counterintuitive. So they are, I think, having to respond to the market. Now, uh, any of you watched some of the other videos will know that I'm, you, you get discounts for various things. And if you join the Nike um, running club or whatever they did, Nike members club, they've got so many different apps, uh, Nike, but there's a Nike members club. You sign up for your emails, as I do for most things, because lots of carbon fiber shoes sell out. And if you get, um, uh, on the email list, you get advanced warning and you get, have a chance of getting them earlier. But anyway, um, the great thing was Nike sent out discounts. There was one that came out that was 20% and then one came out 30%. Sometimes the shoes are, the, the most premium shoes aren't included, but in these ones, I got 20% off, which is 60 euros. So <laughs> thanks Nike. As well as getting early notification of, of shoes, in the Nike Members Club, you get 60 days to try the shoe and return them. Um, and they have a superb, I mean, superb returns policy. Now, with <laughs> a few disadvantages, with the shoes uh, came this uh, big bag, which I really don't need. It's well made, actually. It, 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 I'll find it useful, but I, I don't have a particular need for it. Okay, so that, that and then the shoes come in this uh, box, which I suppose is expected. And then the shoes come with these um, shoe inserts, which are very useful for me in making these videos because they help hold form uh, for the shoe. But you get this box and then you get this other giant box uh, that they come in and uh, with a big telling you in no uncertain terms, move to zero. And so they've got this big sustainability stuff and you think, well, you've got all this stuff you're sending me and I know it's really easy to send back because you just pop this in here, fold them down. I mean, it's beautifully designed in that sense. A bit of double sided tape, then Bob's your uncle take this on, stick it on, get rid of any previous barcodes, drop it around to the post office, which in my case is, oh, it's about three minutes walk away. Uh, they make it incredibly simple. Uh, but in, in one sense, you think, gosh, you've got all this stuff shipping itself around the world. Uh, my Atreyu shoes that came last week came in this plastic bag, um, fully recycled. Uh, it comes with, you know, there's a piece of paper if I wanted to read about it. There's another little bag. Um, but it's so much more environmentally friendly. And I know that the kind of person who buys an Atreyu shoe doesn't really care if they come, well, I'm assuming, that they, they may not care so much that they come in absolute pristine condition, which someone who buys from a Nike shoe might. But if I wanted to send these back, there's all of those boxes. I mean, if you put shoes together in plastic bags, you can fit a lot more per container than you can when you put them in these giant boxes. So you're moving to zero, but you're shipping a lot of air and wasting a lot of container space. Now, I think, um, I mean, again, chapeau Nike for such a fantastic returns policy, but I just wonder, would it be better if you teamed up with someone like Oxfam or one of these other charity shops that I could just then go and downstream the shoe there, I'd get a credit, they'd get a credit, and guess what? You'd get credit too. Um, but if you don't care about any of that stuff and you're just simply wondering about the returns policy, Nike, yours is superb. I've used it, it's superb. I suppose the most obvious competitor for this shoe would be the um, its stablemate, the Vaporfly and the Vaporfly 2. I haven't tested those yet. Um, the discount came on these ones and, and I bought these ones. I probably would have bought the Vaporfly uh, if they had had the discount. Um, 
but also I was interested because these are so showy, but in terms of other shoes to compare them with, um, the two that I'm going to be looking at and possibly running the marathon is the this beauty, I love the shoe, the A6 Metaspeed Sky. They're bringing it out the edge any day now, I hope. Um, but it's a shoe, I haven't run in it extensively, but it is uh, a shoe that I think will be, uh, I'll do some testing, but I'm, I'm, I'm possibly gonna run the marathon this one or possibly the, uh, the Alpha Fly. And the other one that I think uh, is, 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 is the next of my quick shoes is the New Balance Fuel Cell uh, or see elite i've I've really uh, enjoyed running this shoe I've run a couple of half marathons this week in them well three in the last eight days uh, and then I've been running a lot in them uh, one thing i do, I really do like about these shoes is they've got traction it's been raining like oh here it's been I mean, it's a beautiful sunny day but it's been raining a lot in Ireland um and so this traction at the front gives me a feeling of security so if it's wet one hundred percent this is shoe I'm gonna choose uh, I'm gonna do some more tests to see which of this or this. Uh, is the fastest of the two shoes over short distance and then we'll figure that that'll be the same over the long distance only one way to find out for certain but uh, yeah those shoes I think offer realistic comparisons to the Alpha Fly. This shoe is based on the shoe that Elliot Kipchoge ran the fastest marathon and you could ask well, what's an old duffer like me doing with a pair of these I mean you stand there and you know people are looking at you going what's he wearing those for um, but in some ways, if I'm going to be running a marathon, um, I, I'm not going to be, I, I mean, I can, in some of the other shoes I've tested, I can get up to Elliot Kipchoge's marathon speed. I can get up to his speed for about five seconds, <laughs> not two hours. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, extra, it's absolutely extraordinary. Um, but if this shoe can save me energy, and I'm going to do some tests on that, I have a plan for that, uh, then it's worth it. So at the end of a, a marathon, if, if I'm going to use less energy, I'm going to feel a bit better or maybe I'll go a bit quicker. Not that I have to go that much quicker. And ultimately, that's going to put a smile on my face and not necessarily the people who are running against me in the race. Should you buy this shoe? Well, let me ask you a simple question. Are you an extrovert? Because it kind of helps when you're running in this thing and they're going to see you coming and they're going to hear you coming so you've got to be prepared for their reaction and they may not be happy when they see or hear you coming in these uh, overpriced uh, ridiculous shoes uh, but they are surprisingly comfortable I mean they really are comfortable to walk around in to run around in and they do go fast so go on play the percentage game you know you want to I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of links in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions that you pop into the comments. There'll be a blue subscribe button popping there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.